Garden Stadium today. It is a very tough buy. Black market prices last week <laughs> soared as high as $800, more even than tickets for last year's Red Wings appearance in the Stanley Cup Finals. East Lansing has not had a game this big in a long time. How long? Well, Motown's four tops were the top band in the land. Jerry Ford was a congressman from Michigan. Gordy Howe still skated for the Red Wings. Denny McLean had just posted his first 20-win season for the Tigers. That would have been 1966, when Bubba Smith and the Spartans finished undefeated, the only blemish to the infamous 10-10 tie with Notre Dame. This year's Spartan team saw their hopes for a perfect season dashed last week at Northwestern when a 28-yard attempt at a game-winning field goal was blocked in the final seconds. But as it turned out, that did very little of anything to dampen the enthusiasm about this rivalry as we welcome you to a chilly East Lansing, Michigan. Dave Barnett along with Bill Curry. A lot of people this week wondering if close shakes for both these teams will affect this game today. First of all, for Michigan State, does a loss at Northwestern make them any more dangerous today? I don't think so. I don't think a loss ever helps. There's one notable exception. If they can fight through that disappointment and show that they're a great football team, they'll find a way to win this game today and they just might find their way to Pasadena without help. Everybody has looked forward to this one for months. That's how long Spartan Stadium has been sold out. So let's send you from East Lansing to a warm, cozy Mike Tirico in the studio. There, 25-yard line. With Irvin splitting out wide. The give is to Leroy McFadden, a sophomore out of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Normally listed as the third team tailback for the Spartans. And Charles Woodson going up the crowd, Gary Scott. As Schultz drops back and has Renaud out of the backfield, and he's tripped up immediately by Marcus Ray. Just across the 25-yard line, and that is where the Spartans will have to kick. Skilled players. Michigan State needs him to pick it up today. Here's a low kick. And a marker that I don't think they meant to throw uh, as Woodson actually had his own man running into him, James Whitley. The flag should be picked up. There is no foul. Disregard the flag. Clarence Williams is the tailback and heads left where Ike Reese brings him down at the 46-yard line. The Michigan State defense. And it's a short third and one for Greasy over the middle. The first connection of the day with his favorite target for the 21st time this year. Jeremy Tuman brings one in, and he's brought down by Hill. Williams breaking a tackle, a nice yardage off right tackle. Eric Morris up from strong safety to make the hit. So back it up. And now a third and nine with Greasy looking from the shotgun. First high street set the 22 of the Spartans. A first down and the Wolverine drive continues. A 20-yard strike. Greasy to street. Two early impressions. I think Cedric Irvin is going to have trouble with ball security. Brian Greasy is throwing the ball on rhythm. He seems to be at the top of his game today. Lloyd Carr elected to get Craig Baker out to try a 30-yarder. He is 8 of 10 this year. His longest is 40. Out of Greasy's hold, he has this one up and through. So Michigan on the board first, 8.24 to go. First quarter from Spartan Stadium. Since July of 96. But he's gone all year. Quick hitter for the first down. As again, they get Irvin wide, a lot like what Michigan likes to do with their running backs. Second. And two. Irvin cuts back inside. 
tripped up by Marcus Rare. He might have gone instead of the 19, 22 yards for Cedric. Perhaps in the first round of the draft last year. Urban runs right into Dahani Jones. Fine inside backer. Second and 18. Urban again from motion out wide. Gary Scott makes the catch, but is uh, downed immediately at the 23-yard line by Sword for Michigan. And here comes third and 13. 28% defensively for the year. Schultz, well protected, almost intercepted by Weathers, intended for Cedric Urban. It's fun to play defense on those third and 14s. So on comes Chris Gardner. Nope, fake Bill Burke. Wide open is Urban. Touchdown. An electrifying first score of the day for the Spartans. Breather for Urban. Renaud stays in behind Travis Reese on first and 22 from the eye. And here comes Renaud, a thousand yard rusher two years ago. On second and 15, play action. And Renaud buried by Andre Weathers. Defensive backfield in the country. On third down, over the middle, and Ray has his third interception of the season. They have both come in the last two weeks. And he has his third in the last two meetings against the Spartans. 7-3, 9-33 in the second quarter. Williams. Jeremy Tooman holding on to his block just long enough for Williams to near a first down pickup, knocked out by Reed. Williams does have enough for the first, and Chris Floyd, powerful 230-yard, 230-pound fullback, pushes forward to the 50 uh, check-in now. And a third and 11 for Greasy. They come after him, and it is over streets. He had no time. Thanks to Ledyard and Tyrone Garland. Kerr, who had 11 catches one week ago. Haven't looked to him yet. Irvin to the 42. Receiver for the year, but they haven't looked to him yet. Schultz. Just before he is chased out of bounds, overthrows that one in the general area of Rance. It was Rob Renus, the nose tackle, giving chase. And it'll be third and seven. Wolverine still blitz, and it comes from the corner, incomplete for Urban. Woodson coming that time on the corner blitz. It got picked up by Renaud, but Schultz still unable to hit the target. The Spartans will have to kick. On its feet as Michigan starts from its five and breaking through the middle. For a nice chunk goes uh, Chris Howard. Reese, another tackle, down to Dave Ryan. One game at home over the past two years. Howard with a couple of cutbacks and in the clear. Run down and almost fumbles it after Ray Hill catches up with him at the 33-yard line, but he hangs on and it's 51 yards, his longest run by 21 yards this season. An enormous, enormous momentum shift right here executed by the Michigan offense against the Michigan State defense. Coming off that goal line first with a 10-yard run for a first down, and now a 50-yard run by Chris Howard, who almost exposes the ball and has it knocked loose. Very fortunate that he ended up with it there. Very. Which along see. with Aaron Shea, the other tight end, on a third and two. Howard and a first down to keep it going for Michigan. And they ran right behind Jeremy Tooman. Predictable. Marcus Knight in the game goes in motion. Another run on first down. And Howard has gouged out about another five down near the 15. Same true for his senior year coming off a bad ankle. They give him a chance to tote it himself. Nice 
fall forward to the 11, where it's going to be third and less than one. We go to the studio. Mike Tariq. Michigan inside the 20 has been turned away without points just once all year, and they usually don't have to settle for three. Howard breaking a tackle and near the one. Well, I'm trying to assert a little senior leadership. Too late. Greasy, another sneak. Touchdown, Michigan, completing a 95-yard drive. The all-ground 95-yard drive, and it's 10-7 Michigan in a suddenly quiet Spartan Stadium. Check in with Mike Tarico. But the late drive by Michigan gives them a 10-7 halftime lead. Mike? 